Today we're taking a look at this mechanical keyboard sent out to me from Aiko. So I'm super excited to actually test this out. It looks really minimalistic and clean. I'm liking the whole kind of gray and black two-tone look. So I went ahead and unboxed everything. Inside the box you get your instruction manual. You also get a USB type A to type C cable to charge this up. And you also get this tool to go ahead and remove the keycaps. And that's because you do get additional keys. You get these nice white ones which you can put on the keyboard. They're just accent keys so they don't cover the entire board. They're just to add a third color to the board. You also get some extra switches. These are the cream blue version 3. And for replacing those switches it comes with this tool which actually helps you grip the switch and pull it out of the board. Then finally in the box you just get these silicone grips. Honestly, I really am digging the whole two-tone black and gray look. There is additional colors. If you go ahead and use the link down below in the description, you can check them out. And there's also 20% off if you use my code MAT20. So now let's just hear how this keyboard sounds. Underneath the board is your power on switch and mode selector, so you can choose between either Windows and Mac. That simply just switches around your Windows and Alt keys. Or if you don't want to use Bluetooth, you can use this USB dongle. The black and gray colorway will literally go with any setup, whether you have a white desk, a black, or even a wooden desktop like myself, the black and gray is pretty much going to fit in and damn, it looks clean. So even though I pretty much decided I'm going to stick with the black and gray, I just had to try out the white accent keys just to see how they look and to show you guys. So first of all, the white spacebar looks pretty nice, not bad, and then the white escape key. I'm actually kind of digging this. Looks pretty good so far. So if you do want to spice it up a bit, you can always go ahead and change the keys, you know, if you get a little bit bored over time. So there's also four function keys as well as the up, down, left, and right arrow keys. So I feel like that's actually pretty cool. It looks pretty good, it's less minimalistic this way, but it also comes with some additional keys with the ACO logo on, so if you're into that, you can slap those on. These keycaps are made of PBT and they're double shots, so that basically means the text is embedded into the key itself, so it's not going to fade over time. This keyboard is actually pretty chunky, it is pretty high off the desk naturally, but there are of course two flip out legs on the back, and these legs have different modes, so there's a taller mode and then there's like a shallow mode so this is how the taller one looks personally for me it's a little bit too steep so my sweet spot is just the smaller legs i feel like this makes them a very comfortable angle if you want to know a little bit more in detail about these switches i'll put all the specifications on the screen so you can see the operating force the total travel and various other things So it's now been about three weeks and I'm still using this keyboard. This is one of my favorite mechanical keyboards that I've used in quite a while. I really like the whole kind of monotone look, how it's gray and black keys. I think it just fits in really well with my desk setup with that kind of vintage vibe. And black kind of goes with anything, so I feel like this will match your setup no matter what. I'm also a huge fan of the dedicated function row of keys at the top there. Now, I know that may seem kind of bog standard, but a lot of mechanical keyboards I've tried out don't have that. And it's kind of problematic when it comes to using a Mac, because a lot of keys are mapped to those function keys. So it's nice to have them. I'm also a huge fan of this volume wheel up here, just because I'm editing videos a lot, so it's nice just to be able to quickly, you know, turn up and down the volume, especially if I import some sort of song and it's just really loud compared to you know, the audio level of my video, I can go ahead and just turn it down there. So really nice. And if you actually click this volume wheel, it then turns into controls for the lights. So you can go ahead and twist it and it will cycle through various modes that you have set for the backlights on the keyboard. The backlights get pretty bright and I really love the software they have for Mac and Windows. Super easy to use. You can go ahead and change the colors behind each key on the keyboard but it also has these strips down the side, these RGB strips. So you can go ahead and like customize those, change the speed. 
and there's a dedicated section to set up your shortcuts as well as macros. I also believe there's a mode to sync up the flashing of the keys with your audio output on your computer. So you could be watching a movie or playing a game and the keys can be flashing in accordance to the, the sound output, which is pretty cool. I'm a really big fan of the blue switches on this keyboard. I really like the tactile crispiness of just when you type. A lot of keyboards out there, they have kind of more of a, a dull sound when they hit the end point of the travel. But this one, it's got like a crispy kind of sound and I really like that. It doesn't sound cheap and it is very loud. So, you know, if you're in a room with like someone or if you're working late at night, then they're gonna hear this keyboard. It is a pretty loud keyboard. Not gonna lie. Something really neat about the switches is this board is hot swappable. So it supports three pins and five pins. So you can go ahead and pull out the switches, change them over. As I mentioned at the start of the video, there's additional key caps in different colors. So you can, you know, add various keys in white. In terms of the design of this keyboard, it is a gasket mount board. That basically just means there's some padding and a polycarbonate plate underneath the board. And that helps kind of cushion it a little bit overall enhances the, the feeling of when you're typing and, and it makes the board feel less hollow, which is nice, but it's flexible. So you're gonna get some bend when you press on the board itself on the keys, but the overall structure of the, the frame is solid. So there's no flex when it comes to, you know, the outer parts, just when it comes to pressing down on the keys, which I think is a good thing. Inside of here, you have a 3000 milliamp hour battery, just charges up via that USB-C port or you can go ahead and use the keyboard cable so you don't have to use it wireless whatsoever. In order to turn it on, you just select your mode underneath, whether it's Mac or Windows. And then I actually found it tricky to pair. You actually have to hold the function key and press one of the keys on the keyboard to enter Bluetooth pairing. I'll put it up on the screen, but I had to check the instruction manual to do that. There's also various key combinations you need to press to you know change between your Bluetooth modes. There's three modes. And then there's also different combinations to change through the color schemes and the layout. And there's various different effects in here as well. You can have like swooping effects where the lights move up and down and also blinking effects, whereas like the keys blink that you've just pressed on. I'm a huge minimalist and considering my desk layout is now more vintage, I'm gonna stay away from some of the colors and I think I'll just stick it to either a white color or just turn it off completely. I just love that kind of simplistic look this keyboard has. In terms of the price point, this keyboard prices in at $99, but you can use the code MAT20 in order to get 20% off. So you can actually pick this up for $80. So there's really not a lot more to say. I mean, it is just the keyboard, but if you are looking for something that's pretty clean, minimalistic looking, that has some great functionality for Windows and Mac and is wireless, then this is a great option for you can pick it up $80 with my discount code. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. And remember to smash that like button, subscribe down below, turn on the bell icon. And uh, yeah, let me know any of your thoughts if you like this keyboard or not. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.